Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. It is June 20th, 1939. France is gone. Belgium, well, they're in a government ex in exile. So is the Netherlands. We just took Denmark and Switzerland in the last episode. And we were going to make a decision about Czechs. And I think I've changed my mind. We're not going to attack them. We're going to be... We're going to prepare for an attack if one comes, but we're not going to attack them because there's some funky game mechanics that I remember surrounding Czechoslovakia. Um, one of the earlier decisions is, you know, the Sudetenland and then to go ahead and take the rest of Czechoslovakia. And as soon as you do that, then Poland becomes an allies member or they're protected by the British or something like that. So I'm wondering if I can just keep influencing them to stay neutral because I really don't need them for victory conditions. There's nothing in my victory conditions to take the checks. And I think we're still influencing them. Yes. Let's see. I don't remember. I think we are. Yes, we are. Okay, it looks like the U.S. is now drifting towards the Allies more. I think. It says... Wait, hold on. USA is drifting 12 towards Axis. And it says they're drifting mostly towards the Allies, so I guess the Brits are influencing them again? Yes, they are. And they have a stronger... They have a stronger... pull than we do. But still, it's going to take a while because they're only drifting 0.59. Anyway, let's go back to checks. We're drifting to the Axis. I, I, you know, if they declare on me and I fight and win, then that may be different than if I declared on them. I don't know, but I know there's some funky game mechanics that revolve around Czechoslovakia, so I kind of want to leave them alone and keep influencing them and and uh, maybe have them not attack me. I think that might be the best thing. I don't want to trigger this thing with the Soviets, or I'm, I'm sorry, with the United Kingdom and Poland. Speaking of Poland, we're still down here. They're drifting towards the Allies. You know, we might want to keep influencing them. I do not want them to become a member of the Allies. But again, there's a game mechanic that no matter how close they are to us, they can instantly become a member of the Allies, which is stupid, but it's 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 a mechanic in the game. It's it's um you know it's supposed to be historical and and Hearts of Iron 3 kind of railroads you a little bit so it's a little difficult to 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 jump that track and, and kind of carve your own path but it can be done that's what i'm trying to do now i think we're going to just stay away from czechoslovakia we're going to guard our border with the eastern army eastern front army um but that's it i was going to send a couple more cores from the second army over but nah we're just going to leave it the way it is. We're going to continue building our army for Yugoslavia. So what do we do now? I guess we wait. Well, let's look at production. I guess we're going to go after... In a month, we're going to go after Spain. I guess that's what we're going to do. How's this looking? Uh, I would... I think... You know, I'm going to start producing some radar and I want to put them around this area so that my aircraft my interceptors have an easier time finding their tactical their strategic bombers so let's start with a, a few of these stations they're not that expensive they do they take quite a while to build though let's do at least five of them let's start with that and let's put them at the top And I think those are what two and a what how much two and a half two and a quarter each. So let's just call this five, ten, twelve. 
So we probably need to increase this production by 12. Let's just make it 200. There. And we might want to increase this. I don't want this, uh, um, the descent to start creeping up. There we go. All right. So that's what we're going to do with Czechoslovakia. Uh, so let's just continue. Let's move these guys. Let's move these cores down here so we can prepare for the invasion of Yugoslavia. And uh, we need to create a... Did we already do this? No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we created a, 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 another theater down here. Iberian HQ, the Iberian Army Group, and the First Army under Manstein. And we're going to be getting some mountain troops here soon. So we'll just wait until July, and then we'll go after Spain. Should we... Okay, control of Greenland and Iceland. This happens, the the, the, the um, United Kingdom, they've decided control of Greenland and, and Iceland. So after, and historically after Germany took Denmark, the United Kingdom felt threatened that uh, they, they, they occupied Greenland and Iceland. And that's what it says here. Yeah, British forces swiftly took possession of Iceland and the Faroe Islands to counter a possible threat to the German invasion. Now, this says okay. Or never, I think. Did they already occupy them? I can't. Oh, so they've already occupied them. I thought they had to send troops to occupy them. But I guess not. Because I'm pretty sure these were ours once we took Denmark. So they can just say, okay, well, they're now ours. I, I, I could have swore that they had to take troops, send troops to take them. But not that it matters. I don't need Iceland and Greenland to win. So, whatever. Knock yourselves out, Brits. Whatever you want to do. Okay. So, we'll just wait. We'll just wait for a month. The Poles are moving really quickly towards the Allies. Um, they were almost... They were down here. And now look how far they've traveled. Very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and start influencing them. again okay and then when this changes to the next day I want to see how that affects them okay and we're going to need to spend a little bit more for yeah for this let's bring that up to six maybe a little bit more because we're going to need a little bit for some diplomatic influence so let's make this Oh, I guess we'll take it out of research. Let's make it 650. Okay. Espionage, we have probably enough for that. I want to increase my officer ratio some. Okay. All right, let's look at Poland again. And they are drifting towards the Allies, but s more slowly. Uh, the Allies are, are pulling them at 13.32 and the Axis 11.14. Okay, so it's a lot slower than it was before. How about the U.S.? Yeah, slowly, but not as... not not. They are, but slowly. Okay. So we need to win the war basically before Poland becomes a member of the Allies. And that's going to slow that roll some. We, we have to do that to keep them out. 
And we're going to, again, oh, Albini wants energy. Yes, we'll give it to them. Okay, another infantry division. We'll put that one here. Oh, there's the bunch of the mountain divisions are complete. Let's put this one here. Come on, stop, stop, stop. Put that here where it belongs. And attach it to the 20, what is that, the 24th Corps? Okay. Are all the mountain corps finished? I don't think they are. The mountain divisions? No, not quite. Another day or so. All right, looks like they're all completed now. So I have, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. I think I'm going to make six cores, each with two divisions. Because they're not the main fighting force. They're, they're, they're going to be supplemental in specific situations in the mountains. So let's deploy them as such. I think I'm going to put... Uh, I don't know. I don't see any Spanish troops on the border. I think... I don't think there's much down here, so I'm going to concentrate them up here. I'm going to put some tanks down here, just to basically the tanks. Let's take a look at the terrain. Yeah, I don't want the tanks to go through the mountains or the hills here. I'm going to have them swing down this way and take Barcelona and probably go to Valencia and then swing up through here, maybe, to come to Madrid. They're going to take but Barcelona, Val Valencia, and then swing up this way to Madrid. I, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So we might as well start. Before I deploy these, well, let's go back. Let's go to production now. It says we need... Uh, 190? All right. All right. Let's look at production now. Okay, everything is going at full, full production, at 190. Okay, this all looks good. I, I was going to build some more radars, but I, I think I need to wait. Uh, these tanks will be done soon. All right, where do I... Okay, I have five cores here. I want my tanks down over here. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and start moving them down there. The Panzer Corps. Let's put them here. Strategic redeploy. And uh, let's see, mountain troops. Since the mountains are up here, I'm going to put them mostly here. I think. Yeah, let's let's put Hold on a sec, can I can I That's interesting. I can't if I'm deploying troops, I can't stay on the simplified terrain map mode? Why? <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's put the first core up here. And then I have three more. I'll just scatter them on the border here, probably Mostly up here, though. I don't think I'm going to need much down here. I, I, I just don't know exactly where all the Spanish troops are going to be, but I don't think there are many of them. Let's put the second core here. Two more cores. 
put one here, one here, and then put fill it in with with mountain troops, I guess. Third core here. Another core maybe here. Put them in the mountains here. Or the hills. Okay, I'm gonna wait until they're deployed. Until they move they strategically deploy, and then we're gonna deploy the mountain troops. We need to give them leaders as well. Excellent. Now that we need to assign leaders to all these. And, and you know what? I'm going to need a... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There's six of them. Hmm. I'll make two armies, two mountain armies, with three cores each. That's what I'll do. Let's make an army here. And an army here. Okay, leaders are assigned. The army group is being led by this guy, um, Alpers. Uh, skill level three, Commando, uh, which gives him supply out of, if he is out of supply bonus. Um, the core commanders are generally skill three with no real traits of any kind. Um, not really. The, the division commanders are generally skill level two with offensive doctrine. Um, so we got them out ready to go. Let's bring the Mountain Army Group back a little bit. <laughs> Bring them over here. And then as soon as everyone's ready, uh, as soon as their um, readiness is up, we'll go. We also need some fuel here, it looks like. Supply here? Yeah, we have no fuel. We have to wait until we get a little fuel down here. And hopefully that's soon. Let's see, infrastructure here is actually very good. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait until we get some fuel here. Which we don't have yet. We have no supply of fuel. It'll get there eventually. We just have to wait for it to flow down there. But I can't go without fuel. Still have no fuel down here. We're still waiting. Hmm. Need it soon. Shouldn't be a problem. I mean, we got infrastructure up the ass. Let's go. Let's get some fuel down here. Okay, we got some supply, but we need fuel. Trade offer from Bulgaria, they want energy. You can have it. Let's take a look at the world and see what's going on while we wait. Okay, how are the Italians doing? Oh, the Italians have made significant advances into Egypt. And it looks like they're pushing their way down the canal, the Red Sea. Uh, let's see what else is happening over here. Okay. Uh, the Japanese are slowly but surely taking Borneo. And uh, they haven't made a ton of progress down here. But I expect them to. Um, as time goes by. What is this? Well, look at this. The Japanese are occupying Hong Kong. But the, <laughs> the British has a garrison unit outside of Hong Kong, just sitting there. The Japanese aren't doing anything about it. It's just one one, it's just one regiment. I, I, don't, I don't know what they're doing. How's our fuel over here? Can we go yet? No, we still can't. This is kind of bullshit here. Uh, I need the fuel, man. I gotta have it. I mean, I got fuel in the stockpile. 
I just need it over here. Now. I might have to go without the tanks, maybe. Um, shit. Alright, looks like we're getting starting to get fuel now. 19.4. We have a little bit of fuel. I'm going to wait another couple days and see if that goes up. Not yet. It looks like it's getting there. I mean, we got some fuel in the next province over. Okay, 53. Finally. Okay. What does Italy want? They want energy. Okay. So I think it's time. It's uh, August. We're, we're getting into August now. What do we got here? I mean, do we want to wait now? Do we want to wait? And uh, take Sweden first. I think Sweden can wait, actually. Let's, um, I really want to take Spain. I, I want to get into that fight. Um, how's the fuel situation look again? Looking better. 53. It's still not great, but... Consumes 5 every day. We have 53. That's 5, 10. That's 20. So I have, what, 3 days of fuel here? Or... Okay, well, let's just go. Let's let's go ahead and go. And I don't see any troops over here, so we should, we might be able just to overrun them. Um, declare a limited war, conquer, go. And let's start moving in. Um, first court. Let's let's go uh, let's terrain map mode here on this one. First, uh, we'll leave the mountain army there. We'll send the 26th Corps here. 27th Corps. 2nd uh, Corps. Move them in. Leave the army here. Move the 30th Corps in. 5th Corps. And the 31st Corps, and we need to get these tanks rolling to Barcelona. Alright, let's see how this goes. Supply's still looking good. We're, tanks are moving. So far, no sign of the Spanish soldiers. Okay, 51 fuel here. This is this is looking better. Okay, we have more. Ooh, our our, our transports are ready to go. Let's let's put them down here. Let's put them in the submarine fleet for now. And we can create another fleet here real quick. We'll make this the first transport fleet. Navy, whatever. And then we'll deploy the rest of them to the first transport navy. Just for now. Okay. So production, we need 129. What else do we want to produce? More radar? Let's get some more radar going. Five more. And we can start on another core. Let's see, we have two. This is one here. And 
and we have two here. One, two, three. So two more. We need two more. Divisions. Okay. Let's go with uh, infantry and anti-tank. We'll need two of those. And then infantry and artillery. We need six of those. Okay. 190, 211 production. Okay. You know... We're eventually going to need some some garrison troops for up here in Scandinavia, but I will make those later because we're kind of putting off Scandinavia for now uh, because we want Spain. Okay, they have made it here. Let's push them. Here, let's go back to simplified terrain. Okay, they're moving here. Let's just push them all here. Maybe we can link up down here. Okay, we have some more divisions that have crossed the border. Okay, we need this and this. We're gonna we're gonna have the uh, the first corps push out this way, push out to the west. These guys are going to make a run for the, the mountains over here. So let's leave the HQ behind, move up to Estrella. Estrella? Estrella? They will move up to Alight. Okay. There's the first core. Let's push them out. Uh, leave the HQ behind. Leave the HQ behind. Push them here. What is this? Oh, I didn't move them. Oops. Let's move them up. Quickly. Hmm. Okay, we have the 5th Corps here, and we might as well keep pushing with them. Haven't encountered any Spanish troops yet. Ah, oh, there's one. Cavalry. Uh, we're in a fight here. We've already pushed them out, and the other, the other armor is going to go into Barcelona. Looks like unopposed. What is this one doing? It's it's on the move. How's our supply look? Uh, fuel? We're starting to run out of fuel. Well, the fuel needs to keep up with us. It's all here in Girona. It needs to keep up with us. Maybe we can capture some fuel in Barcelona. Okay, these mountain troops have arrived. We'll keep pushing them. Uh, Second Corps has arrived. We'll keep pushing them here. Can't believe I forgot the Third Corps. Deploy that division now.
I guess it doesn't matter where we deploy it. Okay. Let's get back over here. Okay. First division has arrived in San Sebastian. Uh, looks like we have two provinces here. We'll split off. We'll take two divisions go here. These two will go here. Okay, we have a Spanish HQ. What is this? Uh, infantry regiment. I don't know where they're headed off to. Oh, we got another deploy. Okay, Panzers. We got Panzers now. Uh, more tanks. I'm going to set them down here. Right here. And adjust our production needs. Okay. Let's come back over here to Spain. Those are tanks. Uh, they're pushing here. I think they're... Looks like they've run out of fuel. They have a little bit of fuel. Fuel hasn't caught up to them. Still on the move. Okay. Looking good. I'm going to have them stop there until this, uh, this the third corps can catch up. Okay, now we're coming into contact with some Spanish regiments. Looks like it's going to be easy pickings at this point. Let's go into Bilbao, I guess. Send at least one division in. And let's send them both. Because we're going to take this province here. We've already taken it. Uh, we have some Spanish tanks coming. Okay. I think my tanks are going to wait here until I can. My mountain troops can catch up. Okay, more Panzer divisions. Let's go deploy those, I guess. And then give them a core command. And we'll attach that to... Oh, we don't have an army down here yet. Okay. Let's adjust our production. Levels. Do we want to start anything else? We've got radar. We have our last two cores for the army. Let's start... I don't really think I need any more ground forces. Um, not right now. Oh, there's something else I need to do, and that is move the bombers, the attack bombers, down here. Where's a good airfield? It's Bordeaux? Bordeaux would work. Let's bring them down to Bordeaux. Is that the only attack bombers I have? I have those? Yeah, I guess that's the only two I have. Maybe we should build more of those. Let's bring them down here to Bordeaux. Rebrace, rebase them there. Let's build some more interceptors and... Uh, let's see. Four tactical bombers. Ooh, that's a lot. Let's do it. And that's all we can afford for the moment. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's uh, solidify our lines here, and then I'll probably... Uh, I'm going to wait until they arrive here. Let's wait till everybody arrives. 
And then I'll probably end the episode here. Okay, they've arrived. Uh, where are they going? They're going here. Okay. So the Spanish army has decided to show up. Okay, are we filling this gap here? It looks like we are, but it's going to be a while. August 29th. Yee. Until they get there. Okay, we could start pushing here. In, how long is this going to take? August 25th? A few more hours. All right, we could push them out e rather easily. Let's go ahead and start that. That headquarters unit, mm, they're moving, but I'd like to just push them out. There we go. Now we can move this one up here. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. And then we can move our tanks up a little bit. How much uh, fuel do we have? Plenty of fuel, so let's go ahead and move them up. Mm, Iberian army, Iberian first army. I'm gonna have to move the headquarters up a little bit too. You know what? I'm gonna do this when we get back. I'm gonna leave the episode here. This is this is where we're at so far and it looks like we're going to overrun the spanish army i mean there's really little opposition here um so when we come back we're going to continue our advance into spain and hopefully this won't take too long once we get spain it'll be portugal and then sweden norway and then yugoslavia and then there's not a whole lot else to do um we'll see how this goes what is this all right. Yeah, they're they're about to lose this one. Okay, thanks for joining me on this episode. Come back and see the next one, and I'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye.